Welcome to a value stream map to battle droid manufacturing. We're going to see if it was mathematically possible to produce all those battle droids that were used during the Clone Wars. To do this, we're going to be using a lean tool called the value stream map. It's going to create a high level illustration of the production for us and help identify the unit costs and the production time to build the battle droids. As there wasn't much concrete data available on some of these metrics, we're going to be using some observations during the attack of the clones when C-3PO and RTD2 are in the droid factory. There's also lots of talk on the internet through other threads as to what those metrics look like too. But because there wasn't enough data, we're only going to be looking at the production time and not the unit cost. So how about we get started? Taking a look at our process, we're going to be assuming that all the droid parts are prefabricated. That means that our droid arms, legs, heads, etc. all are being produced in parallel at some other location and they're being shipped to the factory every hour. The factory that we're looking at only assembles those fabricated parts and it puts them in a shipping bin at the end so then they can be used to fight in the battle against the Republic. The entire assembly process is assumed to be automated as we saw no Geonosians in the movie working on the actual machines. We only saw a few fly down when Anakin and Padme were being captured. Looking at our production process a little bit closer, we're going to be assuming that it takes at least five seconds at the start to load our conveyor belt with those shipments that are received. So that's in our peak at the start with the five seconds, followed by our valley, which is at three seconds, which is talking about our actual process time, so loading those legs into the machines. We're going to be making the assumption that 30 seconds is that standard elapsed time between the assembly stations. What we can see is that once the legs have been loaded onto the assembly line, it's going to be 30 seconds before they actually reach the station to weld on the chest. Welding on the chest is going to take us three seconds. Welding on the arms is going to take us three seconds, followed by the head and the firearms, which are another three seconds. And then finally loading into the storage, which is going to take us five seconds. We've made the assumption again that 30 seconds is our standard elapsed time between all of those assembly stations. Assuming that every bin holds a thousand droids, so the assumption was that after a thousand droids have been created, a shipment of those droids is going to be delivered. So where does this leave us? Looking at the math, we can see that our value add time is 20 seconds, so this is the actual process time to produce the droids, and our non-value add time, which is 155 seconds, which is really composed of motion waste as we're waiting for those parts to move along the conveyor belt. It brings us to a total value add and non-value add time of 175 seconds to produce a single droid. Now, how many actual droid units were produced? That's really up for speculation. Based on many threads on the internet, as you can see in my comments, there's a link to somebody else underneath the facts that has made a couple of assumptions as to how many droids were produced. It could be somewhere between 123 million and one quintillion. Using the math we put together, we could reasonably assume that 123 million droids was an easy task, only requiring 228 factories to be built and constantly producing them. Even producing 1 billion droids would have been pretty reasonable. We're only looking at 1,850 factories. And there you have it, the math for battle droid production time. And we're done. That concludes this session. Hope this was helpful. Hope it was interesting. I'm also interested in hearing what your thoughts are. If you think that it was reasonable or unreasonable for all those droids to be built. If you have any questions or feedback as well, please feel free to leave them in the comments. If you like what you saw, please click like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much.